Landing pages are a great gateway for you to capture top of the funnel leads, such as event signups, paid ad click through pages, um, downloadable gated content, and many other examples. I will cover in depth the landing page module, best practices, and how you can use it on Vbout. However, in this particular setup video, I'm just going to show you how you can add your own branded domain. Now, the moment you create a landing page in Vbout, we assign a default URL, which is a non-branded Vbout type URL. It's going to look something like this, HTTPS, and note it's secured with the HTTPS at the end, lp.vbt.site, and there's the trailing ID for the page. Obviously, that's a good starting point if you don't have a domain or if you are unable to verify your own, but I'd rather use something with my own domain name in it. Now, this particular example here, it's using my own uh, acronym, which I've already verified, but we're going to add an additional one just so I can explain how you can do this. Now, for this to be completed, you need access to your DNS authority. I'm using Cloudflare in my case, but if you're using GoDaddy, um, Bluehost, or your own hosting, you simply need login to that. From the top right screen, you can go to settings. I'm going to choose domain or landing page uh, domains. And you're going to see I already have a secured and configured uh, subdomain with one active page on it. Now here you're going to see secured. That's what I referred to before as an HTTPS. And that's really important because all the engines of the world and paid ad campaigns, they do check if your pages are secured and you have HTTPS installed. So we do take care of that for you. Now you can add as many as you want. I'm going to just use events in this case, leadbuffer.com. And this could be anything. The most common ones are pages, events, info, LP for landing pages, or just the letter P if you'd like. But I'll leave it to you to get creative. Some people want to use our landing pages for as a root domain. And that's quite simple. So you just do this www and you verify it. If you end up doing that, there's an additional setup that you have to do probably on your DNS authority that redirects all the traffic without www to this particular URL. I won't get too much in depth in, in this, but if you need help, you can reach out to our support. I'm going to do events and add. This is the one setup record that you have to include. It's a CNAME type record. And if you remember before, I talked about TXT type records. And this is just all the jargon that we use when we're running or managing our DNS. Okay, so if I add a record, the type is a CNAME. The subdomain is events. Again, we did ask you to do events.leadbuffer. Now, Cloudflare is pretty good at this. So if I do events.leadbuffer.com, you see how over here they added it as an entire subdomain until I added the .com. They immediately figured out that I'm just trying to add events as a subdomain. In GoDaddy, this is not automatically handled. So you probably just add the word events. And the target is landing.vbt.io and save. Okay. <clears throat> now, one important thing to note, you're going to see on Cloudflare, and this is only a Cloudflare thing because they run proxy. Um, and the way proxies run are slightly different. I just have to turn off this cloud by clicking on it. So that serves as a DNS. There's no proxying involved, and that should pretty much do it. Now, C names might take a couple of extra minutes to just propagate across the web. TXTs are quite fast, but C names usually take a, a little bit longer, not too long, however. By uh, clicking install, actually, it didn't even take a minute. <laughs> That's a good sign. That means the page and the DNS is properly set up. Now we're in the process of installing your SSL certificate and getting that, um, getting them done for you. That's it.
very easy. Now you can go ahead and start using that domain that you added for any landing page you create of Vbout.